Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the lower string method. And the lower string method, and I apologize if you hear a tractor driving by my house right now. Um, I gotta wait till it stops. Alright, there we go. Um, the lower string method will take characters in a string, create a new string, and make all the characters in the string lowercase. If I didn't confuse you there. So it takes a string and converts it to lowercase. Remember, we cannot change the string in place, so we're just basically creating a new string object. So let's take a look at that. Let's first do, um, this is a string, which we have done a million times. And as you can see, we have one uppercase letter in here. That would be the T. And then we're going to call on a string object the lower string method. And the lower string method is period lower and then two parentheses. No arguments with this string method like some of the other ones we have seen. We hit return and we get this is a string, all lowercase. Let's take a look at another one. I'm going to put my cap lock on and we're going to go this is a string. All right. So we do lower string method again, hit return, boom, same thing, all lowercase. All right. Let's create a variable. A is equal to, um, we are learning Python. All right. So there's our, sh our um, string object. And A is representing our string object. So let's call our string object via A. And A dot lower. And we're going to hit return. And we convert our we are learning Python and it's a lowercase. Now what happens if we want to reuse this return? We've seen this before in some of our tutorials, but let's take another look at it. Say we want this string object to be reused again. Now to reuse it again, we're going to have to somehow, some way be able to access it. Now to be able to access it, we could either do a lower again and convert it, or we can access it via a variable. All right, so let's do um, b is equal to a dot lower and hit return, and we'll call b. There we go. Now there's our sh new string object. We can access it itself, or we can just do a dot lower and access it the other way. All right. I just want to throw that in since the lower string method is so easy. So if you guys, uh, it was just a little review. So if you guys have any questions. Please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.